guys, get this. This one is interesting. A database breach exposes profile data for 235, not thousand, not hundred, million. TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube accounts. And I was like, what is going on? Those have been, have, have YouTube been hacked? Instagram been hacked? TikTok have been hacked? No, it's not what I look. It's like, it's just a clickbaity uh, icon um, title. But it's a very interesting uh, read, actually. Let's get into it. So I'm, I'm going to summarize um, uh, what, what the article. I'm going to leave it below so you guys can read it. But look what happened here. So the, there was uh, some, someone found an exposed database that are insecure with no password credentials with 235 million users of TikTok and Instagram and YouTube accounts. Now, you might ask, what kind of information? And that was my question too, right? Things like, uh, look at this. They actually put a JSON object of, of what they had here. Social ID, uh, the social network. You can think that something else is going. This database is a honeypot of every single all the accounts they can think of TikTok, from youtube from instagram it's like so the next thing is like okay someone is actually collecting information and putting in the database but how do they actually collect this much information off of users that's what the, the, i was asking the same question how do they get emails you cannot you cannot just get an email right of 235 without actually going to the to these individual databases and hacking or whatever leaking those turns out that company building this database have been doing web scraping they have been just scraping the social media and you might say Hussein this this stuff most of the stuff are private not really look at this picture this is a picture of Instagram. Even if the account is private, you have, you have access. If you just did a get request on the Instagram slash this account or YouTube slash get account, even if you're not logged in, even if you don't have a, a, a proper user agent and a credential, you, you still have access as a complete robot to this information, how much you're following, what, how much people are following you, how many posts did you put, and this is the beautiful, the most beautiful thing. I'm pretty much this is oh, this is a, this is for them data collecting agencies. This is, this is the 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 honey, right? This is the whole thing, the bio, and people put all sorts of stuff in their bio. They put the link to their URLs to their account, to their websites. And now, guess what? You just do uh, essentially deep uh, uh, navigation and go and find more information. So let's, let's think about all this stuff. Can you get access to the name? Yes. Can you get access to the full name? Probably. Can you get the access to the picture? Definitely, the picture is public. Can you access to the followers? Yes. Engagement, what the heck is engagement? So the engagement is 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 possibly a, a metric that is being calculated as like how much engagement is in this account like how many likes how many uh, dislikes in case of youtube and stuff like that so this is unavailable they must be unavailable in case that account is private but if it is not private then they can actually pull off the engagement right they can actually pull off the engagement very easily right I, I think so, right? The engagement rate, whether it's verified or not, it's a public information. This is a business account or not, it's a public information. Account type, I don't know what that. Hidden. Email. So how do how will they get the email? Some people put the email in the actual bio, right? So that people can reach them. Oh, reach me on this email address. So you can just. Uh, do some string manipulation and just parse that thing off and, and determine that there is an email and, and put the email there. 
if you can't get it from there, people usually put their Facebook URL, their, their, their own public website. And in that case, that web scraping tool will just make make get requests to this and just just dive deep and start scraping that page to get information about this person right it is so interesting gender gender is definitely not public information age definitely not public information but look at this 18 to 24 based on what how do you know that i have no idea how do you know that the age of the person from from instagram a public page of Instagram or a public YouTube, unless someone actually put uh, in their bio, oh, uh, 16 or uh, whatever years old, I'll be 17 next year or I'll be 18, whatever. <laughs> Some people do that, right? Like, oh, 24. It's, it's very interesting. And and look, 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 look at this. This, I loved this. I mean, I, 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 I don't condone this. Th this act by the way guys don't don't quote me out of context but i love the tech behind this the thinking right it's just so yeah um i don't like the the result but i like how they thought about doing this followers growth they actually make multiple requests to the same profile and see how they are growing over the period of time i don't know what's this one m3 m5 m2 m4 six what are these but it looks like this is the growth so they are making multiple requests geolocation i don't know this two level two what does that mean weight id it's probably some more metadata information it is so fascinating and look at this look at this look how much stuff they can get profile name real full real name profile picture account description whether the profile belonged to a business okay that's okay statistic about the follower engagement number of followers okay engagement rate yeah okay we we know how to, to get that follower growth late making multiple requests per day for example or just daily and then compare the results that means this web scraper is is pumping man it's been running how long has it been running to collecting 200 million account information and then just leave it out there for everybody to get do you have idea of how much you can tell this is for marketeers this is like a this is like a chest of gold that people just found laying on the ground and just like picked up it's a shame but i gotta give them that the technology behind that scraping the stuff and and parsing and collecting this information is commendable i'm gonna give them that but i do not commend the uh the again i do not commend the action i don't like that one bit audience age how the heck do they get their age that possibly not be the case they cannot get the age nobody uh, youtube as a public account don't show you tiktok i don't know about tiktok but instagram don't show you the age just publicly without actually authenticating or logging in audience location likes okay last post stamp age gender audience age jeez how the hell do you get the audience age oh my god i didn't even think about that so if the account is public then they can go even if not public right they can go to the followers page right the web scraper can just dive into the followers page and then start for each follower get information about the each audience each follower because it's it's, it's, it's just a spider net after that right she's all right about 20 percent of the quarter sample contained phone number and an email address that makes sense right because some people put like for business reason they put their phone numbers or email addresses in the instagram right you thought this is a deep web man <laughs> it's not really deep web anymore i guess look at this stuff man this whomever did this they broke the concept of a deep web right web scraping yeah i didn't know by the way that web scraping was 
uh, illegal, but now it's become, it used to be illegal, but now I think California just ruled that it's not legal anymore, right? I didn't know that. But yeah, there you go. California last year, that's not illegal, so you can do it, right? But yeah, obviously, API, usually API is, a, is, is the way to go, but I'm fascinated by this idea of whoop scraping. I, I don't condone uh, uh, the, the goal of using the web scraping for these purposes, but like, uh, like I, I wanted to build a web scraping uh, app once to, to kind of scrape IMDB to get the databases and build it into an API. But I think someone already did that and, and, and they're, uh, they build an API over that. But yeah, I think this should be a behind an API. But I just thought I'd share this news with you guys. It's just, what do you think? This web scraping technology, I have not think about that one bit, to be honest. That our information, even if it's a private account, even if it's a private account, it's out there, babes. It's out there. I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> so just, yeah, it's it's all out there. So probably my information is out there. My account is already Instagram's public, so I don't really mind. It's just, yeah, the whole thing is just fascinating to me. It's just how people do all that stuff. So yeah, if you have like, a, what, what was the saying? It's like, if there is a, yeah, if there is a will, there is a way. الغاية تبرر الوسيلة as in Arabic we say right so it's like yeah if there is a will if someone want to do something they will do it look at all this stuff I was just surprised I don't know guys do, does this st stuff surprise you anymore or is it just, just me let me know in the comment section below I'm gonna see you on the next one you guys stay awesome goodbye